Hey guys, and welcome to the briefing room. So, as we all know, Harmony Gold has retconned the series, but they have left the Sentinel section untouched. If they were to go back and change the Sentinels, what changes would they and should they make? Well, I'm here to tell you why I think they should change how many ships made the trip to Tyrol with the STF-3. For those of you who don't know, the official story is that the SDF-3 was the only ship built to meet the Robotech Masters on the Robotech Masters homeworld in order to prevent war. But could that have worked? Here are my four reasons why it wouldn't. The first is timeline continuity. Now this isn't my theory, but one I found on the internet while researching my points. It has its strengths and it does tie into my theory. There are a couple of issues though. This is the idea. When the expedition first arrived on Tyrol, they encountered the Envid. Yet, Supreme Commander Leonard didn't know what the Envid were, despite debriefing Major Carpenter, who had returned from the expedition earlier. There are two camps with this idea. The first being the McKinneyist idea of time dilation. I like the idea of time dilation, but as I'll prove later, I don't think that'll work with the Robotech timeline. The second idea is that the Zetrati didn't know exactly where the Robotech homeworld was, so they sent out several ships to search the galaxies while the SDF-3 was being built. And the SDF-3 and the other ships did not find Tyrol until after they sent Major Carpenter back. This idea kind of makes sense. The Masters probably gave the Zentradi a general idea of what, where they lived and to report back to them, but not the exact location in case of defection. This, this theory is good middle ground between the official story and my theory. One piece of circumstantial evidence relates to the design of some of the ships. The Garfish's design in particular looks like a Zentradi scout ship. Now, you may be saying, well, of course it looks Zentradi. Surely the expeditionary force would be influenced by the Zentradi. But, literally, this is the only ship besides the SDF-3 that is rounded. The TriStar, the Takugawa, the Shimakaze, the Ikazuki, the SDF-4, and even the remodel of the SDF-3 are all very sharp and angular. So why not the Garfish? Because the Garfish needed to look Zentradi. Another piece of circumstantial evidence is the... We only have an appearance of one single Zentradi ship twice in the series. The first time is Commander Reno with the factory satellite. But as it's explained, the factory satellite is one of a kind. And the Masters probably didn't want too much attention to drawn, drawn to itself. And it appears as though it was pretty well defended as it was anyway. The second time is Chiron's final attack against the SDF-3. But Chiron was an insane maniac. He, his only goal was to destroy the SDF-3 at any cost. So it seems unnatural that there would only be one Zentradi ship. And here's my final, most damning piece of evidence for this theory. There is some math involved, so try to bear with me. According to the Robotech Saga wiki, there were five Shimakazes at the time of Reflex Point, which happened 22 years after the SDF-3 left the Earth for Tyrol. And with a crew of 147 each, that is 735 crew members and about 275 pilots, give or take. 
I watched Symphony of Light and the Shadow Chronicles, and I counted about 38 Ikazuki class cruisers. Now that is about 43,446 crew members and 22,800 pilots. Including the Deucalion, I counted 18 garfishes, which accounts for 1,026 crew members and about 207, approximately 270 pilots. And with the SDF-4 and the SDF-3 retrofit, that puts the total expedition members at 81,222. Where are you even going with this? Let me finish. Like I said, the old canon states the SDF-3 was the only ship that made the trip to Tyrol. But Harmony Gold has yet to release an official canon crew member count for the pre-retrofit SDF-3. But one of the old RPG books puts it at 18,300. So, we'll go with that. Subtracting the two numbers, we get a number of... 62,922, which, doing all the math like I have over here somewhere, that figures to be 1.15 children per couple per year. Well, isn't that possible if you factor in a few twins here and there? The problem is that we say nine months for a pregnancy, but 40 weeks is actually closer to 10 months. And a woman's body needs three to four months to recover before having another baby. Also, there's a number of variables that we just don't have enough information to factor in that would play a factor in the number drastically, such as the size of the 10th and 21st Mars divisions that were massacred prior to the attack on reflex point. Also, the number of other casualties that were involved before the attack on reflex point. We're also assuming that that 18,300 number was equal parts men and women, they were capable of having children, meaning they didn't have medical issues, they were both, they were both straight, and that they were all couples. Which frankly is very unrealistic to assume, but that's just how I did the math, so there you go. So in conclusion, my theory is that the main leaders of the expeditionary force realized that Zentradi didn't travel alone, so they realized it would be suspicious if the SDF-3 showed up by itself. So they created the Garfish to carry extra equipment, extra rations, etc. But mostly to be there to not draw suspicion around the SDF-3. And that's why the Garfish looks so drastically different than the rest of the expeditionary force at the time of Reflex Point. Hey guys! As you can see I'm in a different shirt. I had the video recorded, I had it all edited, and I was using the Wayback Machine for our, uh, for another Robotech video I'm working on, and I went on the timeline and discovered that my theory and the uh, exploration camp of the timeline theory are both actually correct, as you can see down there. So, instead of asking you how you th what you think about the theory or what you think about the timeline theory, instead I'm going to ask you, hey, what theories c do you have about Robotech? Maybe I'll do some. So leave it in the comments below. Uh, check out my videos over here-ish. And have a great day. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.